take a look at this artwork. Do you see how when you move within the gallery space, the artwork appears to be changing in color and shape? This is a special work of art called an agamograph. This work is named after the Israeli sculptor Yaakov Agam. He was born in 1928 and he is most famous for his optical and kinetic art. When you look at the different viewpoints of this artwork, what differences do you notice between each image? Any difference you might see in a work of art is contrast. Contrast is a principle of art that refers to the opposite elements arranged in a piece to create visual interest, excitement, or drama. Some examples of contrast are light versus dark colors, or warm versus cool colors, textures, rough textures versus smooth textures, organic shapes versus geometric shapes. To make your own agamograph, you will need to create two separate drawings that show contrast. And you can create the contrast with showing differences of shapes, colors, themes, or textures. You will need two pieces of paper that are the same size, a pencil, eraser, scissors, a ruler, and then some markers or paints to add color to your designs. The first thing you need to do is take your piece of paper, one of the pieces, and fold it in half. You can cut on the folded line. The next step is to draw two different designs on your two pieces of paper. Make sure the designs are related in some way because they will be displayed together, but that they show enough contrast so that when you look at both pieces, they look very different. Now that I have both of my designs drawn with pencil on my final paper, I'm going to go over it with some Sharpie and then add some washable marker to it. I might even brush a little bit of water onto the washable marker once I'm done to give it sort of a watercolor effect. Now that I'm done with the coloring with the washable marker, I'm going to take a cup of water and a paintbrush. I have a small one as well, and I'm going to brush over my sections that I colored so that it allows it to bleed a little bit to look like watercolor. I'm waiting for my artwork to dry, and so I'm going to show you how to create the base for your agamograph. And you will need to mark every inch across the top and bottom of your paper and connect those lines. I'm going to mark every inch, so up here. And do the same on the bottom. and then connect those lines so you have a series of vertical lines sectioning off your paper. You are going to label each strip with one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and then every other A, B, A, B, A, B.
Now that my drawings are dried, I'm going to flip them over and mark inches at the top and the bottom once again and label them as well. I'm going to decide which artwork is going to be my A artwork and which one will be my B artwork and I will label it that way. First, I'm going to mark every inch at the top and the bottom. And I will connect those dots to make lines that go vertically. Label your drawings six through one, starting at the left with the higher number, all the way down to one. And then label your paintings or your drawings with A's or B's, depending on which one is which. The next step is to cut along each line to separate your agamograph into different pieces. And now it's time to glue all of your pieces in the designated areas on your base piece. I like to lay out my pieces first before I glue them down, just so you can get an idea. So I have my A pieces here. Well, I hope you didn't do what I did, but I labeled all my pieces with A's, so I ended up rewriting the B piece. So they all have B's, and now I'm ready to start gluing. I like to have a scrap piece of paper to put the glue on so I don't get it on any other surface and then use another piece of paper to press down my piece as well. Put a lot of glue on so it sticks. You can also use liquid glue if you'd like to just a little bit and you can even use a paper clip to help keep the pieces together while they dry. Match it up so it fits completely in the shape. And I take another scrap piece of paper and press it over and rub it so that I don't get my hands so sticky. And I can really press it down and hold it. You want the glue to have some grab time. Carefully peel off your top piece. That looks pretty good. On to my next piece. And I'm gonna double check the numbers and the letters. Once you get all your pieces glued down, I recommend putting uh, just a newspaper, a scrap piece of paper over top of your artwork and then putting a couple books on top so it can really have some time to dry so that you can move on to the next step, which is folding. You will need to fold your agamograph like an accordion. And so I'm gonna start with taking one end and I will fold it on that line. Press it down and then I will flip it the other way and flip it so I can see the other work of art as well. That strip. Fold it back and fold it together like this. Once you have your whole agamograph folded, then you can stretch it out just a little bit. And you have your two works of art from different angles. If I look at it from more of this angle, I see mostly the warm color with the curvy organic lines. If I tip it this way, I can mainly just see the cool color design with the horizontal lines in more geometric shapes.
And when I look at it straight on, I get an interesting view of both pieces of art together.